Hi, welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial for packaging machine assembly for different tools and analysis. The topic for this tutorial is modeling or assembly features. In this tutorial, you will learn tools in the modeling or assembly features from packaging machine assembly in which you can you will learn converting 2d drawings to 3d structures weldments tools such as mirror or linear and circular pattern etc features like revolving sweep loft fillet mirror curves reference planes etc for 3d sheet metal work in what uh, bending flat pattern view closed corners etc Creating belts in the assembly, how to create belt using design library, uh, how to import parts from the toolbox, 3D sketch to 3D models, assembly features, mass properties, as well as in this tutorial you will learn some of the basic theoretical approaches as well, such as K factor for state matter which allows the bending and how much it uh, the mathematical approach of uh, flat pattern view and bending for assembly top bottom to bottom top approach so let's start the tutorial now this is the assembly completed assembly of the packaging machine the modeling procedure goes like this first we create the base part then the top part then this hopper supports then the hoppers then add the pneumatics and the other things and as well the this page area so first uh, so this approach is known as the bottom up approach so we are creating the assembly from the bottom is to the topmost so I'm gonna show you how I created this whole assembly and uh, design every part in the rough way in the quickest way actually so for the base part I can just create a top plane use the sketch tool So this is the how the uh, rectangles are created. Then using the mirror tool, mirror entities, I can mirror the parts like the, uh, sketches like this. Then can go to the extrude base, make a thin feature of about uh, five mm in. Uh, one direction or two uh, mid plane whatever is safe and can create the base assembly like this then can use the same method for creating the other functions now here I will change the direction inside so like this and so same way like this then this is the front plane so I can use it for mirroring the entities this two part has to be here so it will be like this so by that way we can create this whole part 
the weldment tool is used here so the entities are merged together it's uh, it can be used from here use the weldment select the age and select all around and click ok so it will be merged together like this as the base part the top part is also created with the extrusion the weld pad and the uh, rectangles in the sketch and the holes are created appropriately the assembly this uh, small part gusset is uh, created between the the top and the base part which is the sheet metal part so uh, creating a drawing like this then using the base flange tool from here I have created the this type of part this is nothing but the uh, sheet metal part of certain uh, thickness 5.31 it depends upon the k factor k factor in sheet metal is the ratio of the neutral axis to the material thickness when the material is bent the top section is undergo with the compression and the bottom section undergo the stretch the k factor is used to calculate net patterns because it is directly related to how much material is stretched during the bend. It's used to determine the bend allowances and bend reduction ahead at the first piece. Having an accurate idea of your k factor is key to designing this part because it can anticipate bend reduction for a variety of angles without relying on the chart. So we can use the edge flange now by clicking here you can uh, change the angle to 45 90 we can change the length we can change the flange position we can add the custom allowances custom relief type there are different types of uh, uh, parameters for the page flange but uh, we don't need them right now so i have created a 55 mm edge flange here click ok then this is the simple uh, working of creating a hole and creating the uh, bolt for the creating the nut for the bolt how is the belt created here? Now you can go to the insert menu, then to the assembly feature, and this is the belt shape. Just select the two shafts in between the belt and create whatever is needed. Use belt thickness if you want to use, and, and click OK, and the belt is created. This is how the belt will look like when you derive the part. Then go to the features menu, create reference geometry and plane. From where you can create a new plane over here. Like this. This plane will help you to draw the thickness of the bed. As you can see, the thickness is drawn and then using the sweep function the belt is developed now let's see how these supports for the hoppers are created now first the k factor is selected to 0.5 then this base flange is cr created with the help of the sketch and then the function over here base flange age flange 
is created with the help of age flange function from here now there are uh, different aspects in it this is the flange position the different flange position uh, makes different flat patterns you can also see the flat pattern over here just click on this flatten and the flat pattern is there now let's see how that dispatch band is created first create sheet metal and the k factor to the 0.5 and the 3 gauge material is used over here the base flange is created with the simple sketch and then the base flange function the different bands are created with age black flange the newer thing in this part is this closed corner closed corner makes this when you are not using the closed corner it will look like this but when you are using the closed corner from here it will close the corners of the sheet metal that's why th that's how the closed corner will look like As we know, the flatten is used for the flat pattern, and this is the flat pattern of the band. Now let's see how this hopper mechanism is created, and the air cylinder as well. As you can see, this is a two-way air cylinder, and uh, this is how it looks from the inverse side. It is created with the help of simple extrusion procedure and for the quality purpose you can also download it from the internet as well. It's a standard part. After designing this whole hopper you can just assemble this from in the system now the newer thing on over here is the 3d sketch for the piping first the 3d sketch needs a base point from where the sketch is going to start for what I uh, created this circle then just go to the sketch and from here the 3d sketch this 3D sketch can be created at any direction just you need to be sure about where you are going as you can see if you are creating this side it will go this side then if we, uh, we want it through this it will go from here With the help of this two 3D sketched one and this 3D sketch two, I have created the pipes for the air cylinder. This is the control panel for the hopper. Let's see how the derived part can be created from the inventory of the solid work. Go to the design library from here. Go to toolbox you can either go for inches or metric as per your need let's create a machine screw for an example go right click on it and cl click on create part when you create part you will see such configuration over here this table will 
can change the different sizes, length, the drive type, the length of the thread, and the display of the thread. Display of the thread are in three different types. This is the cosmetic display, and this is the schematic dis thread display. And when you use simplified, there will be no thread display over here. Then after creating the bolt as per your needs, just click OK. Save as it at the place you want to use the bolt nut bolt and just go ahead with the assembly. We talk about the assembly feature. Assembly is quite easier than it seems. You can just add the components, match with each other, and the simple tools which can make the assembly making faster. Let's see it as a glance. I'm adding this uh, part first, and which I'm going to add the, these parts. Now, by using the mat function, you can mat these two surfaces, these two surfaces, and these two surfaces. Now, for the, uh, adding the other five instances, I would not need to add them and make them other available. I can use the linear component pattern. Choose the direction, select the component, and the linear pattern will be created like this. Same way, I can use the mirror component for which I will need a reference plane. Then I can then use this mirror components and all the five instances are added. Same way by using this simple mat feature and the uh, linear component and mirror feature. I have created this whole assembly. Now uh, it seems much complicated, but it's very easy. The bolts are added with the linear pattern. The belt is created as it was seen earlier. Now at last I am going to show the mask property tool. The mask property tool is gives the description about the mass volume, surface area, center of mass and everything for the whole assembly. We can use it for the particular parts as well. We can change the material when you see the changes in mask and see which uh, material is appropriate. We can apply the material from the at the part level by going to part and right click on the material and the, using this edit material and apply any type of material like this. So this is how our modeling of the packaging machine assembly is completed. Thank you.